All right, Frankie. Well, the fire hydrants we're used to seeing are about to get a huge makeover. Mississauga will be the first to introduce what this retired New York City firefighter has created. George Sigalakis, good morning. Thank you for being here, as well as yes. Gus Corey. Now, this is super exciting. What made you, first of all, decide that it finally needs to be revamped? Because of, in New York City, thank you for your service, by the way. Thank you. Um, you contend with the four seasons, so you know what yeah. happens with you know winters and it freezes up. What yeah. were some of the problems you were encountering? Well, a fire hydrant hasn't been changed in a hundred years. They made a steel and iron and water environment. And I had a colleague back in the late 90s, Captain Wayne Smith, who died in a fire because it delays in getting water to the fire because of frozen hydrants. So um, and after two and a half minutes, the fire doubles in size every second. So it's important to get water to the fire as quick as possible. Every second counts. Every second counts. Otherwise, it's surrounded, drowning lives are at risk. So. so how long did it take you to develop this new and improved fire hydrant? I started 24 years ago um, in my basement, you know, developing this. And, you know, I realized a hydrant's vulnerable to access to anybody. And it's, like I said, it's made of steel and iron, so it rusts if you don't use it enough. And, and if you, it, when you're not using it and when you use it too much, it breaks down because it's a 150 year old design. And the technology is, you know, outdated, and this is the 21st century hydrant. It's the best okay. hydrant in the world. Without further ado, are we ready to see it? Who wants to reveal it, Gus? Shall I? What was this, by the way, that I was holding? That is this the is key to open the, to unlock the hydrant. The it's new a, hydrant. It's a high security model, so not anybody can just walk up to it and take water. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is the Should brand new it? fire hydrant. All right. Woo! Wow! That's a beauty! It really <laughs> does look very different, doesn't it? So, how does this work? Talk us through it, George. Well, first, this would be inside here, so it encapsulates everything okay. inside the hydrant, keeps the integrity, and there's no more chains on the hydrant. There's an interior hidden lock that locks, keeps the side caps locked so they can't be damaged, and it's designed for maximum water flow. It's made of materials, the modern day materials, where it's marine grade stainless steel, it's powder coated on the inside and out, so you're not going to get rust and tuberculation inside. And then, even though we have non corrosive dissimilar metals, we put materials between that so it stops. The galvanic reaction, so it's easy to turn this hydrant. You're not going to put sheet of bars on there, tugging and pulling anymore, and it's not going to be rotting inside. The day you put a regular hydrant in the ground from the air and, and the water and moisture and all kinds of different things, they start corroding and yeah. seizing up. So much so. easier to access. How was Mississauga the first one to implement this, and will we see this across Canada soon? Is that to be expected? Our hope is that you'll see it across the country soon. Uh, the, the folks in Mississauga, really innovative uh, group of people there, uh, and the leadership there. I mean, they saw this thing, they immediately saw the benefits of it, and they they jumped on it. They want to test it right away, and they put one in the ground. So important, life-saving work, and today yeah. people can see you, George. Well, also being in Canada, the, one of the biggest things is leak is freezing frozen hydrants, yep. and this hydrant doesn't leak or freeze like other hydrants do. Will, will dogs be confused. Yeah, yes, they will actually. Question. I actually have pictures of dogs walking by. They don't, they don't, they don't, <laughs> don't go around it. So. They don't get used to it. Trust me. All right, guys. George will be at Mississauga's Gary W. Morton Center today at 11, so go see him for the official unveiling. Kev? I, uh, forgot, I, my, worry. I forgot my hose. Good luck. You're about to climb five <laughs> stairs to see what it's like a day in the life of. And thank you again for your service and for yeah. this invention.